here welcome back to my channel um at the beginning of this video um i said i was going to be making a new channel for my tarot readings haven't quite done it yet so disregard so still go ahead and subscribe to this channel and um hopefully sometime this month you know not hopefully th th this month I plan on making a new channel for my tarot videos and tarot readings and things of that nature. So please be on the lookout for that. But without further ado, this is the video for the November 2019 Collective Conscious Reading Predictions. I hope you guys enjoy. Mwah. Peace. to shell here welcome back to my channel sorry about that my my alarm started going off but what i was saying i'm only going to use my kate to shell channel for my story times and for my clothing diys and stuff which i am currently working on so be on the lookout for that if you're not subscribed to that channel go ahead and do that now and also subscribe to this one for this channel it'll be tarot readings and things of the sort so if that is something that you are interested in please go ahead and subscribe down below and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss future videos because why would you want to do that i mean <laughs> um well today i am going to be doing the overall reading for the month of November, which November is my birthday month, November 26. All my sages, go ahead and put your arrows down below. Represent gang gang. <laughs> um, but yes, um, but I'm also um Sagittarius Sun, but I'm Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising as well. So November is kind of like my month. Like, you know, before I even started going on this spiritual journey, like I always felt like I had to celebrate the whole month of November and now I know why. <laughs> so yes, I'm really excited and I can't wait to do this reading with you. So let's see what's going on for the month of November. Right. Spirits, can you tell us about the month of November. What is the overall theme for this month? What is it we have to look forward to for the Conscious Collective? What are things looking like for the month of November? Mm -mm. Got the High Priestess in reverse. So, looks like we need to focus on intuition. Trusting your intuition, making sure that you know you go with your first mind. My grandmother used to always tell me that always go with your first mind. So, yeah, we need to you you know exercise our intuition, trusting your intuition a little more. So, okay. What else we got? That's a lot of cards. We'll see if that comes out again. November 2019, what is it that we have to look forward to for the Conscious Collective? Okay. These two cards wanted to pop out. We got the Six of Swords. So, maybe um, there was a little bit of rockiness going on for the month of October. But we're moving forward. We're moving toward better times. And then the Knight of Cups in reverse here. Not opening up to new opportunities. Maybe feeling, I don't know, feeling kind of apprehensive for these new opportunities. Or maybe not open to new love for you singles out there. Um, we'll get into that in a second. Okay. 
Oh, look at that. The sun. Good times ahead. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Two more cards. So the last card was the Page of Cups in Reverse and Temperance in Reverse. So, Sagittarius energy. <laughs> Thank you, spirits. And back of the deck energy, we got the Eight of Coins in Reverse. So not being focused, maybe. Um, take things one day at a time. That's what I'm getting for that. Like, just taking things one day at a time. Yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. But, uh, let's see. This High Priestess in reverse. You know, I'm feeling like... Yeah, like, just exercising our intuition more. Like, trusting your intuition. You know? Um... Maybe October wasn't necessarily the best, especially with this Mercury retrograde on Halloween. <laughs> um, but I don't necessarily see Mercury retrograde as like a bad thing per se. Yeah, shit may go topsy-turvy here and there. But I see it as like, it's kind of like a purging for everyone. Like things that have to come to the surface that you just kind of push to the back of your mind or whatever, or, you know, just purging out old bad habits and stuff like that, bringing all that stuff up to the light so you can, you know, process it, deal with it, and let it go. So, and with the Six of Swords, it's pretty much saying that better times are ahead, you know? Uh, Knight of Cups... I'm getting something about love, like maybe you're not open or maybe some of you won't be too open to new opportunities in love, maybe because you feel like you have to balance balance yourself out, which ain't necessarily a bad thing, you know, balancing yourself out in moderation, you know, just being able to find balance basically and that's what I'm kind of getting with that like finding balance you know so some of you may have opportunity you know opportunities in love that might be coming your, your way and you might be like mm, no nah, not right now because you feel like you have to you know what I'm saying get yourself <laughs> you know get yourself in order first which ain't a bad thing you know always get you right first because because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Words from RuPaul. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, um, uh, let me see. Page of Cups. May not be a good time to start new opportunities or start something new. Mmm. Yeah, may not be a good time to, you know, start something new. That's what I'm getting. Because I feel like you have other things going on that you still have yet to complete for some of you, you know. So finish whatever projects or whatever things or endeavors you have going now so you can move on to the new things. Because I know I'm guilty of that myself. I'll start something and then... You know, put that on pause, go do something else, you know. So with the with the eight of coins reverse here, oh excuse me. I'm getting, you know, to stay focused on one thing first. You know, one thing at a time. Take things one day at a time, you know, and focus. 
yeah, that's what I'm getting. Focus, you know. So, yeah. Okay, but, um, yes, overall, the theme for, for the month of November is the High Priestess in reverse here. So, yes, trusting your intuition, trusting, you know, trusting that inner voice in your head. You know, if something tells you something ain't right, nine times out of ten, well, ten times out of nine, it probably ain't. So, listen to that. You know, um, there may be something going on in your world that, you know, you may be blind to or you may not be, you know, taking in all the information. So, yeah, trust your intuition. Trust your first mind. There may be a little bit of travel in for some of you guys with this Six of Swords here. But like I said, um, you know, things may get a little kooky crazy with this Mercury retrograde, which is going until November 20th when it will go direct, you know. But there's definitely better times ahead. Maybe some traveling involved for some of you. Um, be mindful that there may be someone in your midst that may be lying or deceiving you. Could be a love interest. This could be, let's see, cups. Uh, water sign, you know, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you know. So be mindful of that. Um, and like I said, some of you just may not be open to new opportunities as far as love and stuff goes. You feel like you want to get yourself together which like I said ain't a bad thing you know I'm saying the month of November is really gonna be kind of like a month of solitude like a month where like you know we're getting our shit together you know what I'm saying like we're you know going inside and fixing problems that we need to address you know getting yourself right that's what I'm getting for the month of November temperance in reverse you know um, balancing out your emotions and your logic, moderation, you know, just getting yourself right. And Page of Cups here, you know, trying to, um, purge out, well, Page of Cups, you know, pretty much trying to cut out bad habits and, you know, not really open to anything new right now. Finishing what you start. Which, like I said, this is eight of coins here. You know, finishing the things that you start. You know, pretty much getting yourself right before you take on anything new. Which I think is always a good idea. So, that's the overall theme for that. And I'm going to use my gypsy oracle deck here to get a little clarification for the cards one moment all right spirit what advice can you give us for the month of november Can you give us for the month of November? We got old woman in reverse. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. But the old woman in reverse. Okay. And that's right under the high priestess. Now, with these oracle cards, um, they don't come with any interpretations or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my interpretation on these first. And then, I'm going to look them up and see what they say. And I'm going to come back and we're going <laughs> to compare. So, okay. So. Oh, that wanted to pop out. We got love. Uh -uh, okay. Let's 
between all right. all right thank you spirit last three cards we got letter we got priests in reverse and we got soldier okay so old woman under the high priestess i did mention um earlier about my grandmother you know my grandmother always used to tell me to follow my first mind so i'm getting maybe an ancestor or like um a, you know a person older than you you know giving you advice or well in reverse could be this older woman um could be giving you advice and you're not listening yeah that's what i'm getting for that maybe um someone older um female energy you know could be giving you advice and you know you're not necessarily listening or for some of you it could be since the high priestess represents the moon you know it could be that this older person could be like stuck in their ways and you know you're not really vibing with whatever information they're giving you yeah that's, that's what i'm getting and uh under the six of swords we got love so maybe some of you are moving with a significant other maybe um or some of you could be making a move like moving and you, you know moving with a lover or a lover could be moving with you or there could be new love coming in and like i said like you know, some of you are probably like, mm, no, I feel like I, I got to get me right first, you know. So you're moving out of these troubled times, you know, trying to move on to better things. And there's love coming your way somewhere. And with the Knight of Cups in reverse, we got letter. Um, Letter usually means like good news. You know, you could be getting some some sort of news, you know, um, in reverse. I mean, in upright, I'm sorry. Um, letter in the upright usually means you're going to receive some good news from somewhere. So, like, with this Knight of Cups, um, could be... Could be a new opportunity but you're kind of like on the fence about it you're kind of like mm, i don't know you know so maybe that's that that's something you'll have to contemplate about but i don't think it's like gonna be bad i, I still say contemplate on it if you feel like it's not for you then you know do what you have to but whatever news you're gonna receive it's gonna be good you know so and with priest in reverse here, um, which was right under temperance in reverse, um, I'm getting spirituality, you know, um, well, like I said, not following your intuition, um, you know, kind of putting yourself on the back burner. That's what I'm getting. Um, not really taking care of yourself on a spiritual level, um, getting your mind right you know I, f I feel like some of you probably have been kind of putting it off and that's something that you need to put more focus on for the month of november like getting your mind right meditating you know clearing your chakras you know about you know balancing yourself out you know i feel like that's something we need to focus on for the month of november and with the page of cups we got soldier now soldier is pretty much like you know you know for the past couple months you know there's been some internal struggles and battles going on within a lot of us you know and with this page of cups like i said you know something 
isn't quite like it's not really a good time to start anything new per se because you still have to finish what you started and maybe for some of you you're feeling like okay i'm overwhelmed i'm taking on too much but with this soldier card you know this is pretty much confirmation for me that you can do this that you know you can and you will forge ahead you know and uh back of deck back of the deck energy for the oracle deck was service in reverse so maybe for some of you like you know you've been helping and you know helping others and you know giving to others and like i said you've just been kind of putting yourself on the back burner that's what i've been getting a lot of us have really been been putting our own needs on the back burner to help others you know this month take a little time for yourself make sure you have all of your shit in order make sure you have all of your things taken care of make sure you're taking care of yourself that's most important taking care of yourself you know being a little bit selfish this month so that's what i'm getting now i'm gonna go ahead and look these meanings up real quick and we will compare and i'll be right back i'm back so i looked up the meanings for these cards so i can get a better understanding and make sure that my intuition is on track okay so with the old woman card which was under the high priestess in reverse um it does mean that there could be an older individual in your life, could be female energy, um, that is giving you advice and you're not too open to taking said advice, you know. But um, with with the older generation, you know, they only tell you things because they've seen it before or they've been through it themselves so you know you may not be necessarily open to the advice that they're giving you but you know maybe it's worth taking a listen to because i mean they didn't get to that age you know for no reason you know so maybe that's something to listen to but also for some of you it could be that you need to revisit something from your past you know, if, you know, maybe something in your life is occurring that you've seen before and that you need to, you know, revisit so you can fix it and close said chapter, you know. So, that's that. And for love, which was under the Six of Swords, you know, this is indicating that, yes, there is some sort of love coming your way. You may not be necessarily open to it. And if you feel like, you know, you're just not in that market right now, that's fine. If you feel like you got to get yourself in order first, that's fine. But what I'm getting, this could be somebody, you know, who could have some long-term standing in your life. So maybe something to entertain. But, you know, definitely, you know, ponder on it, think on it, you know. But... That's indicating that there is definitely somebody probably coming your way. So, you know, be on the lookout. And letter, you know, this is indicating some sort of good news. You know, with this uh, Knight of Cups here, this could indicate somebody in your life who, you know, could be lying or could be deceiving you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, you know, cups, so this could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you know. Um, but this is indicating, the letter card is indicating that despite all that, there's some sort of good news coming your way. Something that you've been waiting for and it's going to turn out in your favor. So despite this person you know, coming in to throw you off your square or whatever the case may be. There's going to be some good behind it. So, there's that. And with the priest in reverse here, like I said, this is indicating that um, 
there could be some judgment going on somewhere, whether it be from you or someone judging you in some way, shape, or form. Like I said, with this temperance in reverse here, you know, getting to um, balance yourself out, balance your emotions, balance, you know, balance your emotions and your logic. Don't let emotions fuel your decisions. And there could be somebody around you, or it could be you, you know, that could be throwing judgment somewhere. But also... Um, this could, to me, <laughs> what I'm getting, this could be that, you know, you just need to get more in touch with your spiritual side, you know, meditate, pray, clear your chakras, you know, something along them lines, you know, smudge your house, smudge yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like just getting yourself right, getting your mind right. That's what I'm getting with that. And with the back of the deck energy being the service card in reverse here, it's basically indicating that just as I said, like you could you could have been helping everybody, you know, just always helping, always giving, and somebody could be wanting to take advantage, or so, or someone could be taking advantage of this. And right under that, you know, the back of the deck energy. For the tarot deck was the eight of coins in reverse here. So what I'm getting, you know, what I'm saying you're you're extending yourself too much. You're overextending yourself, and you know you just need to take things one day at a time. And you know you're steady reaching out, helping everybody else, and you're putting yourself on the back burner. And I feel like the month of November is the month where you need to focus on you, where you need to you know, focus on self, get yourself right, you know, and coins, this could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you may know that, you know, you just break your neck to help, and this person could be taking advantage of that, you know, so be mindful of that, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but for some of you, that's what I'm feeling that could be, but overall, for the month of November, it's pretty much Focus on you. Focus on self. Get yourself right. Get yourself in order. Because I know that that, re that really resonates for me because I'm always doing something. I'm always all over the place. But with the Eight of Coins in reverse here, just slow down. You know, balance your emotions. You know, keep your emotions in check. Because I know for me, like the past couple months, I, you know, I have my moments where I be tripping out, you know what I'm saying? Like just spazzing some, sometimes, you know, but yes, keep your emotions in check, you know, balance yourself out, focus on you, get your, get your mind right, get yourself right, slow down, you know, take things one day at a time, you know? Um, there may be some opportunities for love coming for November, you know what I'm saying? But most importantly, get yourself right. Get get you right first. You know, there's definitely new opportunities. There's definitely, you know, new things on the horizon for all of us, you know what I'm saying? But the most important thing is getting yourself right first. Get you right. Get your inner you together. That was the overall theme for the month of November. Like I said, um, make sure to, you know, trust your intuition. You know, always follow your first mind, your gut feeling. If it don't feel right, it probably ain't, you know. So definitely trust your intuition. Um, there's better times ahead. Some of you probably moving, probably, you know moving physically or moving on to better times, you know. Um, there could be someone in the midst who could be lying and deceiving you. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful of that. Um, balance out your emotions, you know. Keep your emotions in check, you know. That's a big thing for the month of November. So keep your emotions in check, Um Take things one day at a time. Take it slow. It's okay to take it slow. Don't be so hard on yourself, too. That's also what I'm getting, you know. But um, overall, this, is, this was a beautiful reading. And, you know, overall, you know, just be sure to take care of you first. That is 
like the the biggest theme that I'm getting. Take care of yourself first. Self first. Take care of yourself first. I can't stress that enough. And to just go slow. Take things one day at a time because better times are coming. You know, so that was the overall reading theme for the month of November. If this resonated for you, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I love reading the comments. I love to hear feedback from you guys. Um, make sure you you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, of course, like this video, thumbs up so I can make more, so I can make sure that I'm bringing y'all what y'all like or whatever. <laughs> Um, but I also am going to be doing um, love, health, finances, spirituality, and work spread for the month of November as well. So be on the lookout for that. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And I thank each and every last one of you all for subscribing and, you know, interacting with me, whether not only with, with, with my tarot readings, but with my story times and my DIYs. Like, I love, I, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.